this one. Um, how has my map ulcer got bigger? Hmm. So maybe how does a map ulcer get bigger? Oh, yeah. So, so to uh, the question is the, uh, the how does my mouth ulcer gets bigger? Or like we said, do mouth ulcers get bigger? Yeah. So depending on the ulcer, mm -hmm. right? So we call them either canker sore or uh, we call them canker sores um, or, um, man, I got a brain freeze here. Uh, canker sores, for example, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so you have a canker sore that happens in your mouth mm -hmm. and all of a sudden uh, you start to see a big ulcer in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I see these ulcers, you know, they happen in the, in the lip, like a very tiny ulcer. Sometimes they're as big as a quarter. So when you start to have, when the ulcers start to happen, mm -hmm. you may start to see that one ulcer happens right in your mouth, right here in your lip, mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, over a period of time, in the next few days, you start to see either the same get ulcer gets bigger or you may have the same ulcer that happens in a different part of the mouth mm -hmm. and it may be bigger than this size. So all of a sudden, now you're starting to think, well, do mouth ulcers get really bigger? Mm -hmm. So you may be thinking it's the same one, but it could be a completely different one that starts with being a big ulcer. So the answer to the, the question would be, Yes, do mouth ulcers get bigger, or you may get a completely uh, a big ulcer to begin with, and sometimes the ulcers have a tendency to migrate from one place to the other. Mm -hmm. So simple fix, or or maybe I should say the reasons that happens. It could be stress, or it could mm -hmm. be some kind of a viral infection, mm -hmm. or it could be some kind of a you may have some you know some kind of a immunocompromise you are immunologically compromised. For example, you may have a cold mm -hmm. and you may be fighting a cough and all mm -hmm. of a sudden you start to have an ulcer. And what we normally see in our office, patients have some kind of an oral surgical or a periodontal procedure or a gum procedure done. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden they come back and say next the week after, hey doc, I did not have a gum ulcer or a, or a mouth ulcer when I came to see you, but now all of a sudden I have an ulcer, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Now, your body has to, to handle all the stress because you're now handing, handle, your body has to handle all the procedure. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden you're stressed out, your body is stressed out. Now, all of a sudden these virus gets, uh, the bacteria get activated in your mouth and to, they compromise your immune system now all of a sudden you get an ulcer. Mm -hmm. Those are two different things. Not because you've had the procedure that caused the ulcer, mm -hmm. it's because of your immune power, your immune, uh, mm -hmm. your, your immunity. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times I normally tell patients, don't even worry about it, like it'll go away, like mm -hmm. after like about a week or 10 days. Sometimes patients say, well, can I apply the Orogel? I can buy it from uh, over the counter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, if it is gonna help you, you can apply something to help you, even if you don't, it should it should most of the time go away. Very rarely we go out medications to those patients to treat the ulcer, but most of the time it uh, tends to uh, go away on its own. Mm 